it's time for the video of the day. I'm your host, Greg. Welcome. Uh, from the looks of things, I got here just in time. <laughs> I'm at Benjamin Moore Paints in Pell City, Alabama. I got to pick up here. And then I got to, uh, then I got to head to Nashville. Nashville, Illinois. Not Nashville, Tennessee, Nashville, Illinois. Although I'll be going through Nashville, Missouri, or Nashville, Missouri. Oh my God. Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, won't be stopping there. I've stopped there plenty of times. I don't need to stop there again. In any event, I just thought I would break this thing up. It's a nasty day out. It's been cloudy. It hasn't rained. It rained on the way down last night. Uh, on the way, on the way down to uh, Talladega, it rained last night. But I got down there and stayed with the customer, and uh, they unloaded me rather quickly this morning. It actually took them longer to get me a load than it did for them to unload me. <laughs> and even I saved my hours. I made sure I got enough hours, so. I'm gonna get a half an hour break in here, and that'll get me uh, that'll get me my eight hours back. And hopefully, it's only about seven, seven and a half up there. So hopefully, I can get up there. The load's not too heavy. The reason I was able to move so quickly yesterday is because I had an entire load for that place, but it was only like eleven thousand pounds. It was uh, heating and cooling units, things of that nature. They, I guess they built modular homes. Go to a lot of places where they build modular homes. And uh, they built these modular homes. And these are the furnace and air conditioning units that they put in them. And they're made right in right in Missouri, in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. So uh, in any event, that's, uh, that's basically what I had going on. I was here first. Um, the red truck that you saw leaving, he was here. Um, and I came in after him, and then there's the rest of these guys came in. It looks like I got here just in time. As I said on my Facebook page, that's that's the worst part of the trucking is waiting. We spent an awful lot of time sitting around with our thumb up our butt, waiting for them to either load us or unload us, or waiting for a load. Um, we do spend quite a bit of time in traffic sometimes, depending on where you're going. Now, if I'd had to go across 44 or across 40, I'd have been crying because, oh my God, that road, 40 going through, going through Tennessee, all the way from Knoxville to Memphis, okay? It's nothing but one big construction zone. And that's going all the way across the state. Um, in West Memphis, Arkansas, where 55 and 40 come together, they were doing construction on the southbound side. Okay, it's four lanes. They got three of the four lanes blocked off. So it was backing up all the time. Now they got that side done. Now they're working on the other side. So thank goodness I don't have to go through there because that was backed up. Oh my God, when I came through there yesterday, it had to have been backed up three, four miles. Anyway, uh, I told you what I got for Father's Day. And um, I actually, I have a leather CD case. And I've been able to put my books inside here. I have three books inside this case. I have uh, The Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and The Prisoner of Azkaban all in here. Um... The Goblet of Fire, uh, Order of the Phoenix, and those last four, I'll have to have a couple cases for those things. But what I had, see, what I got down here, is this where I keep, keep them at, this little box down here? Okay. I keep them in that little box there. And what I had was in my, you can see the old box over here in the trash. Okay. But what I do is this box was a little bigger and I had a gallon of water in here. Well, that gallon of water sprung a leak. And I looked down and my floor was all wet and so were the bottom of my 
CD boxes, and I was not a happy camper. They weren't soaked, but they were they were wet. So I had to pull them stupid things out, clean them all off. I, I've listened to um, the Sorcerer's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets. I'm onto the Prisoner of Azkaban now. One of my favorite lines, and I put this on my Facebook. One of my favorite lines from that movie. After Harry um, blows up his Aunt Marge and he flags down the night bus, he falls over, okay? Because he's looking at what we find out later with Sirius Black in, in his dog form. Um, he sees him and it kind of startles him. And then the night bus shows up and he fell over. Stan gets off the bus, gives his little spiel, you know, for the night bus. And uh, then he looks down at Harry and he says, what you doing down there? Harry says, I fell over. Stan says, what you fell over for? <laughs> what you fell over for? What do you mean what I fell over for? Yeah, I didn't do it on purpose, you bonehead. As a matter of fact, that's what Harry says to him. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> but I've been really enjoying listening to these. Uh, matter of fact, the reason I got through um, the Chamber of Secrets is because I listened to it all day yesterday. I, I uh, probably 15, 20 minutes I didn't listen to it, <laughs> you know, while I was driving. Um, but I listened to it like all day yesterday. And uh, I I enjoy listening to them. I know I've listened to them a hundred times. But questions come up. I get questions. And this is one, if you're a Harry Potter fan, maybe you can help me answer this one. In the Chamber of Secrets, I don't remember who it was. I think it, I think it was Harry and Ron. We're getting lippy with Percy, Ron's brother, and Percy takes five points from Gryffindor. In the Order of the Phoenix, Malfoy takes points away from from somebody. I think he was taking them away from from. Uh, Hermione and one of the Hufflepuff kids spoke up and said prefects can't take points Percy did he wasn't head boy at this point he was a prefect he didn't, he didn't get to he didn't get to head boy until prisoner of Azkaban so why is it Percy can take points as a prefect but Malfoy can't take points as a prefect now, Malfoy, if you know the story, Malfoy did take those points because he was part of the Inquisitorial Squad and was able to take away those points because that's the way Umbridge... And, you know, I'm trying to figure out if I hate Umbridge more or if I hate Aunt Marge more because there's a, there's a line in the story, and I don't think it's in the movie, but it's in the book, and it really, when I hear it, makes me angry. She's talking about breeding her, her dogs... And she talks about how she had to have Colonel Flubster drowned one because it was runty. Every time I hear that line, I want to I want to drown Aunt Marge. Aunt Marge was stupid, but she wasn't evil like Dolores Umbridge was. And now I know I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I know my wife's gonna say something to me about talking about Harry Potter on the video. Because the last time I talked about Harry Potter on the video, she said so. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I like Harry Potter. Um, thanks to my wife, we have all the movies. Thanks to my wife, I have all the books on CD. I have all the books, uh, the, the the actual you know books to read. I have tattoo here of Harry Potter. I have a tattoo over here of a Dementor that needs to get finished. I went to see a guy to finish this thing. The guy that was doing it charged me two and a half to do what he did. And then he was going to charge me another two and a half to finish it. I had a guy that wanted four to five hundred bucks to finish it. Okay, I looked at some of his work. He's pretty good, but he ain't that good. That Dementor, if I see somebody I don't like, that Dementor better come off my shoulder and suck the, suck the soul out of that person. 
for that much money, he better. Needless to say, I'm probably not going to go see him. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead, like I said, wrap this up, get it put on for you. And uh, I don't know when I'm going to do another video. I, you know, I do these when the feeling hits me. That's how I do them. So I'm going to wrap this up. As I've said, what, three times already? How many of you counted? Three times? I'm going to wrap this up. There's four. <laughs> Talk about repeating yourself. Get this put on for you. Remember, like, comment, share this video. You know, liking it is very important. Okay? Subscribing. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. You'll never miss a video. Okay? Down there on the bottom of the screen, there's a little subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. And then right next to it, there's a little thing, a little button that looks like it's got a bell on it. Okay? Hit that, and you'll be alerted every time I post a video. Okay, you'll get it before most most of the people because most of my people watch it on Facebook. Okay, <coughs> I always post it to YouTube, and then sometimes I post it and I, I can't I can't get it to copy right away because sometimes what I'll do is I'll start I'll start uploading it to YouTube, and then I have to leave. So I'll go and I'll just let it upload while I'm going down the road. Well, then I can't copy and paste it on the Facebook while I'm going down the road. So, you know, sometimes it's, you know, a couple hours. It'll be on it'll be on YouTube for a couple hours before I actually get it uh, on the Facebook. So, if, you, if you're on Facebook and you subscribe and you hit the little bell, you'll be alerted so you never, ever, ever miss a video. All right? Remember, let people know I'm out here. Okay? I want to know you're out there watching. Let everybody else know that I'm out here and I'm creating havoc wherever I go and I'm the goofiest thing you'd ever want to listen to. Until next time, this is your host of the video of the day, Greg the Crazy Drucker saying, <laughs> see ya.